Hi, my name is Abril Chavez Ariana, and the focus of the study is the giant magnetocaloric effect in 2D cobalt hydroxide nanosheets. In this study, a soft chemical exfoliation procedure was used to synthesize 2D cobalt hydroxide nanosheets with a giant magnetocaloric effect and isothermal magnetic entropy change. So what is the magnetocaloric effect? It is the variation in temperature of a magnetic material when exposed to a change in, in the magnetic field. So from when it goes to being magnetized, it goes from a randomly ordered spring system to an ordered spring system. Likely once it goes through de demagnetization, it goes from a ordered spring system to a randomly ordered spring system. As this cycle continues continuously, it takes the energy from the environment and cools the temperature, and this can be used for the liquefaction of hydrogen. Additionally, this type of procedure can be used for magnetic refrigeration, and um, using this type of procedure would be using the green approach as opposed to the one that's being currently used. And for our interests, we are seeing how we can design a material to liquefy hydrogen gas. So to the right, we have the ferromagnetism in 2D alpha iron oxide nanosheets. And the difference between these two samples is the thickness. Um, we took the sample and heated it in the liquid phase and continued with exfoliation and produced the nanosheets. We observed that the thickness changed the magnitude of magnetization, uh, kind of favoring the smaller, um, less thick sample. Additionally, we observe the structural and magnetic properties of the cobalt hydroxide nanosheets. The difference between the sample on the left and the right is the, is the thickness and the size, the left being the cobalt hydroxide nanosheets as synthesized, and the ones on the right being the cobalt hydroxide nanosheets after exfoliation. Based on the graph below, we were able to see that the magnitude of magnetization for the asynthesized sample was way less than the after exfoliation sample. The after exfoliation sample showed double the magnitude of magnetization um, than the cobalt hydroxide nanosheets as synthesized. So this just further proves that the um, smaller, less thick samples are more favorable for this position uh, procedure. Additionally, we observed and measured the temperature versus magnetization, and we're able to observe these curves, and as well as the isothermal magnetization curves. We observed from this graph that there are a big jumps between the 5 Kelvin to 150 Kelvin to 300 Kelvin, and this allowed us to see that the materials were capable of demonstrating um, the magnetocaloric effect Additionally, we have um, the graph shows the uh, arrow plots with a positive slope, and this demonstrates a second order magnetic phase transition. Um, and right here we have the magnetocaloric properties of the cobalt hydroxide nanosheets. Um, on the very right here, we have that the sample as synthesized has a less change in entropy as opposed to the exfoliated sample, which again shows double the magnitude of a value as opposed to the asynthesized sample. So the conclusions that we were able to come across, um, in summary, the 2D cobalt hydroxide nanosheets uh, have an exceptionally large magnetocaloric effect in isothermal magnetic entropy change of up to 51.5 joules kilograms at uh, Micro magnetization, magnetization equaling five Tesla, and the large entropy change uh, value correlates with the second order paramagnetic ferromagnetic phase transition at a temperature around 35 Kelvin. And all of our findings suggest that the 2D cobalt hydroxide is a promising candidate for magnetic refrigeration near the hydrogen liquefaction temperature.